Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez. When you thought the drama was over from the promoter slash fighter relationship with the Ryan Garcia and the Oscar De La Hoya, it still remains apparent, okay? Canelo Alvarez has came out and made a statement on BT Sports that there will be no Golovkin Canelo or Canelo Golovkin 3. And Oscar De La Hoya says many things that make no sense. Those are the words from Canelo Alvarez. That was his statement that he made to BT Sports. Now, first of all, let's start from the beginning. Golovkin. There will be no Golovkin 3 rematch. Look, Canelo Alvarez knows at this point in his career that he can fight anyone. He knows a contract is, his contract has nothing to do with Golovkin's contract. A lot of people think that was the case. No, it wasn't. It was Golovkin's contract from him coming to the zone, promised a Canelo fight, but it wasn't the other way around. Canelo was offered that $365 million contract. Your only good is the contract that you signed. And that's with promoters, that's with broadcasting uh, networks, that's with the whole nine yards. You're only as good as the promotional contracts that you sign, okay? And he signed one of the biggest ones ever. He signed that, he signed like a baseball contract, okay? So, him saying there will be no Golovkin 3, what Canelo is doing, he is telling you the way it is. Okay, he's telling you what he feels, regardless of what Oscar De La Hoya is saying. I'll get to him in a minute. He's giving you fights with Kovalev. Of course, we knew who the boogeymen were a few years ago, right? Golovkin, Kovalev, right? Uh, those guys were the boogeymen in that era and those divisions. And he fought, he, he's giving you another boogeyman that he's fighting. He's not really the boogeyman as though now. He's still a decent fighter, but you know, he wasn't what he was then. But he's giving you guys something else that can entertain you. He's giving you other fights, riskier fights, right? Fights in a different weight class, fight a uh, weight class he's never been in. You know, uh, the statistics are not in yet, but he's giving you this fight. So, with Forrest Golovkin, okay, now I know people are going to say, and I've read the comments under the post, and I'm, you know, of course you guys see it as the thumbnail of this video, and a lot of people, oh man, you know, he doesn't want to fight Golovkin because Golovkin will, will clearly win, you know, Golovkin won the first fight, this, that, and the other, look. I've counterpunched those videos as they came, those fights as they came. To recap, sure, Golovkin won the first fight, not a doubt about it. He outworked Canelo. Canelo fought, he boxed Golovkin. He showed that you can box and move with Golovkin. People didn't want to see that shit, okay? But Golovkin was still able to outland him. Boom, Golovkin a winner. Second fight, more like a draw. But Canelo changed his style and pleased everyone, right? So he changed his style up because people kept complaining that he was fighting like Eris Landi Lara and boxing and moving instead of fighting and engaging, which Golovkin was doing. But when he changed his style, Golovkin was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're coming at me, right? This is different, but ever made it so challenging and he still counter punched, right? Okay. He loses a split decision. Third fight will be no third fight. Why? Because Canelo's over it. Canelo's finished with the bullshit. He doesn't want to engage in another fight. 
We know about the glenbuterol and all that. Uh, the beef. Um, all the drama. Everything built up to that fight, the second fight. He says there will be no third fight. He's over it, people. And for a second, let, let's pretend like we're in the real world, okay? We have to stop pretending that Canelo is on the same level as all these other fighters. We need to stop pretending that that's the case because it's not. It's not the case. Canelo Alvarez is not on the level that these fighters are on, okay? Yes, he can be beat. This guy, Lada, beat Canelo. A lot of people feel that. Why didn't he win the decision? Because he's not on the level that Canelo's on. Neither is Golovkin. I don't care how many fans Golovkin had and won over. He was not a Canelo. He was not that guy that filled the seats. His first pay-per-view was with Lemieux. Okay? He beat David Lemieux, made it. He stopped him in or stopped the fight was stopped in the eighth round. TKO. Dropped him, I think, in the fourth with a body shot. Beautiful punch. I love the fight. It didn't do the numbers. Money talks. Bullshit runs a marathon. We know how it goes. And we know Canelo is fucking... It's super hard to get a decision against Canelo. Floyd Mayweather made a majority decision and won a majority decision over him. So that should tell you something. Then this motherfucker, the, he was the face of boxing, him and Pacquiao, right? So let's stop acting like these guys are up there with him. The dude does what he wants. He's a good fighter. He's getting better as a fighter. But at the same time, he's protected on high. Now, Oscar De La Hoya. All right. What Canelo has said about Oscar De La Hoya, and I related the Ryan Garcia things to this because now it, it just shows you that these fighters are starting to speak their mind more and more because they know it's about the contracts, not about the promoters. So yes, he's uh, he is under promotion with Golden Boy. But what do you think holds more weight, that the zone contract or the Golden Boy one? You think he couldn't just say, you know what, fuck you, Oscar De La Hoya, you're a cokehead, you're this, you're that, and I don't want you no more. You know what, I'm just going to work directly with John Skipper and fulfill my obligations with this contract with the zone. You think he couldn't buy out Oscar De La Hoya and start just using his Canelo promotions all associated with the zone? Right? Sponsored by Takate and other places and other sponsors. You think he couldn't do that? Why do you think Canelo Alvarez now is saying these type of things? Because Ryan Garcia, you know, did open a can of worms. He planted a seed, right? Now Canelo's like, you know what? He's right. Oscar De La Hoya, you know. And, in, and for a while, he wouldn't say anything bad about Oscar De La Hoya. Remember that? You couldn't, you couldn't make Canelo say something bad about De La Hoya. Even when Floyd rehashed the, 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 <laughs> The, dra the drag queen uh, pictures with Oscar De La Hoya in boxing gloves and shit. He said nothing. He respected his promoter. He even paid $8 million to his old promoter because De La Hoya stripped him from him. Breach of contract. He had to pay that man. Right? But now he's saying that De La Hoya is saying many things that don't make sense. Why? Because De La, De La Hoya is trying to promote a fight with Golovkin. Because he wants this fight for whatever reason. Right? Canelo doesn't want it. And as far as Golovkin, me counterpunching Golovkin, Golovkin should let it go. Let the shit go. See, that's what I don't understand about Golovkin. You signed a million, a multi million dollar contract with his own for one motherfucker. You pretend that you don't want to fight these other guys. But you know you're going to have to fulfill that contract. So why would you do that contingent on fighting one guy? That shows you that he's driven. It sounds like some Manny Pacquiao, Juan, Mon Juan Manuel Marquez type shit, right? That's what it sounds like to me. Because, you know, Marquez was just hell bent on beating Pacquiao. I don't give a fuck how long it takes me to beat this guy. I want to beat this guy because I know I beat this guy. Right? Because a lot of people thought he won the first fight, the second fight third fight right and he knocked him out in the fourth fight that's canelo canelo's driven he's hell bent he's stubborn right the motherfucker is almost insane with this shit 
And Golovkin needs to let it go. Fight, you know, make peace with your fights with Canelo. This is the first time he ever fought someone twice, so that should tell you something. You're special already by itself. It sure wouldn't this guy back here, Lada, another split decision, weird-ass decision, right? But you did. You got a draw. <laughs> You're up there with Mayweather. He got a majority win. You got a draw, right? That's a quote-unquote loss for Canelo, right? But that wasn't enough. So you went and fucked up, lost all your belts to this guy, lost the belt in the meantime, fucking with this guy. Now this guy has your belt, so that gave a belt to Charlo even. Okay? Let it go. It's over. You know, like quit pushing for a fucking third fight between a guy that you already claimed that you beat. I think you won the first fight, draw like the second fight. Okay, one and a half ain't bad. Leave it alone. Because the worst thing could happen to Golovkin, he keeps going pushing, he keeps getting older, he keeps on pushing, he's going to get beat because he's not really where he needs to be physically because he's too fucking old. I felt he was too old when he fought him the first time. Now he's 37 talking about it. I want to fight Canelo. Why? Why do you want to fight Canelo? It's over. You beat him. Be confident in your ability. You're the people's champ. A lot of people thought you won. Okay? We know the politics of the sport. It's the sport that I love that I hate so much, people. Okay, this reaction should have been a live stream, but it is what it is. But wrapping it up, Golovkin should let it go. Canelo can fight who he wants and he does not need, I repeat, does not need Oscar De La Hoya as a promoter. And I think he's starting to see that. Canelo's starting to smell himself because he knows, well, fuck, I don't need him at all. He wants to take me to court? Sure, here. Take your money. I'm done with you. We're finished, right? Hasta luego. No, adios. <laughs> right? So that's what it is. And that's my counterpunch on that, guys. You guys tell me what you think about the statements that Canelo Alvarez made towards the Golovkin fight and Oscar De La Hoya. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.